Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where our trip here to Australia continues. Our time over in the Gold Coast has come to an end. However, we loved it up there, didn't we? Oh, it was so nice. It was just absolutely stunning. It really was. And of course, check out our various different vlogs here on TPW and also over on the Sandbrook Adventures as well, uh, visiting lots of other attractions, including the drive down that we've done this morning um, all the way from the Gold Coast here to Coffs Harbour. We've been driving for a few hours. We went to Byron Bay. That was amazing. Oh, it was stunning. It was so nice. The beach there was unlike a beach I've ever seen before. Gorgeous. And we're on our way down to Sydney. Of course, the next vlog coming up here on this channel will be from Luna Park. However, we thought we'd stop here on the way because this place looks really quirky. It's known as the Big Banana Fun Park. Look how big the banana is <laughs> right here. Yeah, basically, it's a free to enter fun park. It's already got loads of rides. However, what they have got here is a toboggan, uh, there's ice skating, um, there's mini golf, we've got like a laser tag arena. Quite a bit, um, to be yeah, it's like a demolition derby ride here as well and we just thought we'd stop here and show you it because it's quite iconic exactly. you know this is the road that you take literally down to sydney we haven't to turn off anywhere um, you literally drive straight past it and of course you've got the big banana which is a great photo opportunity out here at the front Such a good one. let's go and have a little look so there's a look at the main road literally you just turn right straight onto the car park free parking here as well at the Big Banana in Coffs Harbour. And yeah, we've seen some nice scenery along the way. And also, we've seen parts where there's absolutely nothing. In fact, we went 100 miles without seeing a petrol station, know, crazy, shop, or anything. It? Like, anything. that was crazy. But yeah, we thought we've got to stop here. And with it being a fun park, um, we've got to put it here on Theme Park Worldwide, of course, for you all to enjoy. But yeah, the park itself dates back to 1964. And here we go. You've got a little bit of information just here all about this. Yeah, all about the ownership history of the attraction here as well. Yeah, crazy, so it's been running for a very long time, this place. Quite iconic, I believe, especially for people doing this drive between the Gold Coast and Sydney, and also vice versa. <laughs> well, we thought we'd just start off in the shop here down at the entrance. Loads of banana-themed items, and of course, the monkey mascot just there as well, with a big banana on, but I like these actual big bananas just over here. Look at these. There you go. <laughs> also, during the drive, we've gone through a time zone change by an hour as well, which is quite interesting. Doing a time zone change without flying anywhere. Just kind of guessing when you're on the road, you know, when the time's changed. Hey, yeah, these are quite nice, aren't they? Oh my God, watch out. Yeah. <laughs> Back outside the shop then now, and yeah, here's a look at all the attractions here. So here you've got the water park featuring quite a few different slides, the giant slide, an ice skating rink, laser tag, mini golf, the toboggan, which we're heading up to now. You've got the 4D ride, which is like a theater attraction demolition derby ride and then they've also got a banana experience tour as well and yeah you do all sorts of different combo tickets here in fact there's only about an hour to go until it closes we've just made it here in time so yeah perfect timing just for a ride on the toboggan really which is good got our tickets ready yeah proper old school tickets oh, look at them cool. there we go it says toboggan on it yeah it was eight dollars per person for a ride on there yeah we're gonna make our way up there now i think it's just up here to the left <laughs> i love the sign just there here we go the big banana it's a whole bunch of fun Love the cheese. Definitely belongs here on Theme Park Worldwide with that cheese. <laughs> Here's a look at the mini golf that we've got just here as well. Yeah, all nicely landscapes. Just round here and yeah, you can buy the combo tickets to do multiple attractions and it's even cheaper if you do that. There you go, there's the big monkey. <laughs> I like the merch that they've got in the shop. Yeah, I like these quirky little places like this. I'm surprised they haven't got like a little coaster down here to be honest. Yeah, I know. That'd be uh, a good fit, wouldn't it? Look at this though, and the slides just over here. They call it a water park, really. It's just some slides just at the side of the car park here, but why not? Like, it looks quite good. The slide looks massive inside that building there. Yeah, yeah big racer slide. And here's a look at the newest attraction just down here, the Demolition Derby that you can see just up there. Nobody on it, but there's a look at it. So you can see it in action. Oh, there you are. It's just shut then, has it, for the day. Yeah, right, here we go. We're going on the toboggan now. We'll put the chest mount on. Hopefully, we'll be able to use it. I don't see why not, but we'll find out. Let's go. Looking forward to a good toboggan yeah, ride. Look at the toboggan. Apparently, you can see the ocean from on it as well, which is nice. Bit concerned about how slow some people yeah, are coming down. So, we'll have to ask them and see if we can uh, leave a good gap. Oh, there you go. Here's a little look. It is like a mini water park down there. Some slides. We'll take a closer look after this. Let's go on. Here we go, on the big banana toboggan. And yeah, I've just noticed some old monorail track as well around here. So I'll try and find out a bit of information about that for you. Here we go. Oi. Yeah, we can use the GoPro, which is good. Get some on-ride footage. Oh, I tell you what, this weather, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, what a great view looking out there. 
Hopefully gonna be able to get some speed. They did all right. Oh, that's nice. Looking out at the Pacific Ocean just over there. Yeah, they seem to be leaving a pretty good gap, so hopefully it'll be okay. We actually had to sign a waiver before coming on this. There you go. Yeah, very strict on things like that over here. We had to sign a waiver just to say that we understand the restrictions. And of course, we've looked at the briefing board with the video on. And yeah, covered in banana trees as well. There was loads just down there. It is the big banana after all. <laughs> Keep at least 20 meters gap. So yeah, the key with these, if you think someone's going slow, brake at the top and really slow down before you then go for it. Cause you know me, I like to go really fast on these things. We'll see how we go. There's Charlotte behind over there. <laughs> Can we get to her? There she is. Hey. There we go. Let's just go for it, shall we? I can't see any hold up. So we should be okay. Big banana, here we go. Oh. Nice how it's in the trees. Woo! <laughs> hey! Lean in! Hey! Oh! Oh, we got a good clear run. Woo! What a view! <laughs> Longest one, but it's all right. That there we go. It's a nice slow stop. Push that one on the track. There we go. Fantastic. Just waiting for Charlotte's arrival just here now. Here she comes through the trees. Hey, <laughs> there she is. <laughs> An awesome ride there on the toboggan. Did you like that? Yeah, sure, but I quite enjoyed it. it yeah, it was fast. good. Yeah, 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 we had some good speed. We did, which was good. I was talking about that on the lift there. There's always a concern with those. Oh, you have no. somebody going really slow in front. Coming down really slow, but that was quite good fun. Yeah, it was. I enjoyed that. Yeah, short layout, but there were some really nice views. In fact, you can just make out the ocean just over there as well in the distance. Fantastic. Well, yeah, it was really nice. I mean, look at them coming down slow now like that. Yeah, you want to, if that happens at the top, you need to make sure you're braking first to slow yeah, yourself down yeah, yeah. before you come into it. But uh, here we go, it's monorail track just there. See, I just found out a bit of information about it. They used to have this monorail here, and obviously it's the concrete beams style one as well. Um, but yeah, I think a train got stuck, and then it obviously it's not operated since, which is a shame. Where well, you can see the monorail track just here. In fact, two tracks down here, which is quite interesting. I didn't know that they used to have a monorail here. Obviously, it's our first time coming here. Would have been rude not to have stopped in though, to be honest, especially the fact we've not had to come off route at all. It was literally just as we were driving down here to come and have a look. Yeah, there's a look at some of them big banana plants. Obviously, the actual bananas are covered up with a the bag there. There are loads of banana plants here at the big banana fun park. Here you've got the laser tag arena just up there at the top as well. And here's another look at that demolition derby attraction here. So yeah, not operating because it closed literally five, ten minutes ago. Um, yeah, there's a look at it. This is the new attraction here and it's undercover here as well. You'd think it'd be open a bit later though. Yeah, and there's a look over towards the small war park they've got here, including quite a few different slides. The good thing is about this place is that if you're traveling during this journey, especially with kids and just want a bit of a chill out, um, then yeah, you can get them out of the car, get them on some water slides. Uh, it's a really nice stopover location for a few hours, which is great. But well, we saw the building for this outside, it looks massive. What are we going on now? We're going on the giant slide. How much was this one then? So it was two slides for eight dollars. Not too bad at all. Let's go on, we'll take you on with the POV on this. Oh, oh my God. It's quite the walk up here, isn't it? Oh, it is. It is me saying it's a nice chill place. Oh, you come on there, so we got to walk all the way up here. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, we got our mats. And we're ready to ride on the giant slide, the racer. There we go, we're all loaded up just to uh, hat it, get your feet in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's quite the walk up here though, wasn't it? That's it. Oh, we've just got to wait for the traffic lights, I think now. So, yeah. Hopefully to load up and we'll see who wins. I don't like how you're cheating here, Charlotte. I'm not. I'm going towards the start position. Well, I'll move forward now as a bit as well. There we go. That's it. Whoop. Wait for the lights to turn green. Here we go. That's what? Well. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Watch the lights. Oh. 
yes, come on. Oh, Charlotte, yes. <laughs> oh my God, I got air time. What we just come off the giant slide there, and that was absolutely fantastic. That was so much fun. <laughs> it went so fast. I think mean, that was even better than the toboggan, to be but honest. You beat me. Oh, I know. I like how you see times at the bottom on the screens as well, how long it took you to go Loved down. It. Uh, yeah, big structure as well, all the building it around that. Huge. Yeah, amazing. But uh, yeah, in terms of this place, I just said this to Charlotte, it kind of feels a little bit like a service station with attractions, it's doesn't perfect. it? It's something fun to do on your stopover. Yeah, I mean, you could spend the full day here if you wanted to do all the attractions, and they do like a combination price um, where you can do that. Or you can pick like three attractions or six or whatever you want to do uh, or you can just use it as a little stopover like we have come here for an hour or so have a look in the shop do a couple of bits like the toboggan like i say you're not going off route at all because it's literally it's on, on the main route. road so it's really clever how this place has been designed shame the monorail doesn't operate anymore though so you got a few other little shops here as well and there's also reptile world just over here as well with snakes crocodiles turtles and lizards just there yeah adult ticket $12.50 child ticket 750 for that yeah it's really interesting because it's all kind of set around the car park in different oh, places cool. yeah an ice skating rink but it's not open unfortunately to go and see it would you have had a go no <laughs> i don't want to injure myself while i'm away no so then we're not the best at ice skating charlotte I thinks am, she is i am but... really good to be honest yeah you're looking a little bit red Honestly, there, charlotte. i'm so red i'm having to keep these off my shoulders because they're hurting so bad i think you need a t-shirt on the covering your yeah, shoulders tomorrow look i've never been so brown oh i know it's january as well I happy know. summer everyone it's gonna be freezing when we come home no, from this is. trip we have to go somewhere else warm well, yeah, let's make our way now down here into the building again. Just have a little look around, see what else there is here at the Big Banana in Coffs Harbour. <coughs> a little bit chesty, that one. Oh, I'll tell you what, 4D Theatre is busy just over there as well. Yeah, just one of those with the moving seats. There you go. Yeah, it shows them on the video just here. Dino Safari. Yeah, kind of like a Jurassic World knockoff just there. Coaster one as well. There you go. With the moving seats just there. Yeah, they're all right. They are nothing spectacular in my opinion, but there's something really different. Maybe over here in Australia, they've not got anything quite like that, you know, so it's something a bit different for them here. Back in the gift shop now, and yeah, you can just buy the little monkey just here. Look at these pens just here. Big banana pens. <laughs> This is a funny t-shirt, isn't it, Sean? <laughs> hey, look at that, all the banana skins. Well, I like this up here. Maybe we'll get this for our kitchen at home. There you go, wet floor sign. But it's banana skin. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> the back of the banana just here now as well. <laughs> it's got a lot of history, this place, from over the years. I mean, look at all these old pictures just here. Big banana attracts tourists, top tourist attraction. Celebrating 50 years. I also saw in the shop just loads of awards as well. The biggest banana in the world. Yeah, I think they've obviously rebuilt it over the years and done different things with it. And obviously, it is a banana plantation just here. Started off with that in just a shop. Fascinating. I love how they really celebrate the history here as well. Oh, now you can actually go inside the big <laughs> banana just here as well. It tells you about all different types of bananas. Let's have a look. Love a good banana. <laughs> One of the most unique places we've been to, this. I think a little coaster I go down well here for them, to be honest. I mean, I know they've got the toboggan, but it's what do like you think? Big, wasn't it? Even just like a little SPF Visa spinning Where coaster. Sit, like, or, yeah, I mean, that'd be cool. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Like I say, it's got so much history, this place. The big banana land just there as well. Like, this is quite something. <laughs> Seeing this, a real piece of history. We had to stop here. We couldn't drive past this and not stop here. And even with the toboggan rides, it's a little bonus, really. Yeah, just to come and see it. Like I say, it is like a service station, really. At the side of the road, there you go, telling you all about building of the big, big banana there as well. Fascinating stuff. Service stations for bananas. Yeah. <laughs> We've just come around the corner now for a look at the ice skating rink here as well. And yeah, as you can see, pretty big in there. Some good lighting as well, music playing, and yeah, really nice setup just inside there. They've got a lot here to see actually at the Big Banana. I can say it's a perfect stopover for doing that drive between the Gold Coast and of course down to Sydney, or vice versa. And that brings us to the end of our visit here to the Big Banana. I've really 
enjoyed it. There's quite a variety of things to do for a little stopover. I think it's nice as well how it's free entry, free parking. You just pull up, even if you didn't want to do anything, you can just walk around, have a little stretch of your legs, maybe go on the toboggan and do the slide. I thought the slide was fantastic. Oh, I loved the slide, it was so good. <laughs> One of the biggest slides I've ever been on that was, probably the biggest actually inside yeah, there. Like, yeah. In terms of them ones that have got the double downs like that, or the triple downs. Uh, along with that as well, uh, the toboggan was well worth doing. I thought that was fantastic. A little bit on the short side, yeah. um, but you got a nice view from on there as well. Obviously got the demolition derby, the ice skating, the laser tag. Um, you could fill a full day here if you wanted. Of course, there's a the little water park as well. Mostly aimed at kids, not really big slides there. Um, but it's just a fun, quirky little stopover during that drive, which is good. And you can also get some bananas. Hey, yeah, I haven't actually tried one of the bananas from oh, here. Yeah. I nearly got one, but uh, <laughs> they were just closing up in the cafe. Uh, we literally just popped in here on the drive, and yeah, it's just starting to close up now. We've timed it well, actually, we have today. Done, yeah. so we've packed in quite a lot. But so uh, we've got quite a drive now, actually, down to Sydney. Um, but yeah, we're going to be stopping over as well on some accommodation. If you want to see that, head over to the Sandbrook Adventures. And that's the beauty of this trip. There's so much content across both channels as well. Good. So there's playlists for both uh, channels as well, featuring all of the content from our trip so far. But uh, next vlog coming up here on Theme Park Worldwide will be from the iconic and very historic Luna Park right in Sydney. And it's next to the Harbour Bridge as well. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, location looks good as this. Should be right now first single rail there as well uh, which i'm looking forward to called big dipper so stay tuned for that it'll be coming up next here on theme park worldwide but that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out, out there and keep, keep on riding. riding see you all in sydney